and three seconds later I'm back. Okay guys, so another Mimi box and this time it's Beauty 911. Now, I instantly jumped at this box because of the caption with it. Because I just thought, this happens to me every day of my life. I spend hours getting ready, trying to get my face looking as best as I can. I'm not a supermodel, but I try. And an hour later, either my hair has gone wild or I've lost half my eyebrows. My makeup's half melted off through, you know, oil. Or my lipstick just doesn't stay. So, I ordered the Beauty 911. And actually, it's not quite what I thought, but it's really good. I like the look of it. So, it says, bad hair days, tick, I get that. Vicious zits, tick, I get that. In fact, I have one there. It's like a friend at the minute. Um, what else? Hangover days, sometimes I have that. Days when it's just obvious that you've parted way too hard the night before. Uh, I don't get that. Um, we've all been in that situation when we would have killed for a beauty emergency kit. Smart us, we created the perfect all-inclusive beauty box to save your all-beauty predicaments and put an end to all the madness. And actually, I think it is that type of box. It looks really good. So... We have the first item, which I've tried again. I've tried three of the items in this box and one I'm actually going to unbox completely and use it now because it's actually a duplicate for me, but that's fine. Is the Yadel Anti-Tea Spot Cream. Um, it's worth $15. Now, I'm going to use this just in the day because the one I'm using at night is the one that's like the paste. Um, so, I'm going to use this one in the day because it's like a, it's not paste. <laughs> Basically, it's clear. And it says this anti-tea spot cream boosts a fast-absorbing creamy formula enriched with cacactus green tea, rosemary, aloe vera and sage ext extracts and are completely free of parabens, um, mineral oils, sulfate and artificial colourings and animal ingredients. It's gentle, naturally derived ingredients that are non-stimulating or even the most sensitive skin types. They are effectively treat red spots and blemishes for a clearer and clearer complexion. So it's all natural as well. So again, is this going to be in the Garden of Eden box as it's all naturally derived? It would be interesting to see. And also, cute packaging. I like the little girl's face that's like a little bit distressed. Probably probably has some spots. Um, yeah, I like the packaging. It was quite funky. It just says, take a small amount, a plant, a mount, and apply it over blemished spots twice a day, morning and night. And yeah, I used it this morning, and I'll use it tomorrow morning, and I'll use it every morning. First of all, it's quite a good, decent size for a spot cream. Normally, they're like half the size, little piddly um, bottles. Worth $15, and it just comes out like a little white cream, and I just used the tiniest amount and just dabbed it on. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, it's nice to have a spot cream from them. Everything, again, is full size in this box, which I like. And also, this was a golden ticket box, so I have another $3 off. Waiting for another box to be released eagerly. Um, also, I just want to say, um, I've ordered two boxes, well not ordered two boxes, I've bought two boxes um, from ladies from the UK, Mimi UK Lovers Swap site, or I can't remember the names, but girls you know who you are, um, I've ordered the Tinkerbell box, which if you remember at the time I opened my Ariel box, I said I wished I'd have bought all of them, but at the time it, I thought it was all going to be pure, pure, pure glitter, and actually I saw an unboxing video and I loved it. So I've got that coming for somebody who thought it was Tinkerbell themed. Um, they're sending me that. Um, and then the oil box, the oil therapy got released today. And it was Brad whose pictures I saw. Thank you, Brad, so much. Because I looked at that and I was like, oh, shit. That looks a really good box. And I didn't order it because I thought it would be for people with oily, like not oily skin, dry skin as it was an oil therapy. And it turned out the people who bought it thought it was for dry skin as well. And it turned out it was for oily skin. And that is the type of box I'm looking for because I'm now talking about putting oil into my skin to prevent me from making, like producing more oil, if that makes sense. Um... And I wished I'd, I've ordered, I would have ordered it. So I've got somebody who I've just bought that box off. Um, but literally, it looked an amazing box right up my street. It had like um, an oil cleansing balm in, an oil makeup remover for your eyes and your lips. It had um, 
an oil for troubled skin it had uh like a, an oil that you could put in the bath or you could put it on your body it was like an all over purpose oil and it just looked really good so i'm thumbs up i've got those two coming and they get posted soon i'm really excited so but this is the thing with Mimi, you go on the vague descriptions that we get and that's the risk that you take, you either love it or you hate it. I mean every box so far I've liked, apart from really K-Star Beauty 4, it was a bit of a letdown for me but still I would use everything so with different colours. But this is the, the risk that we all take with Mimi because we don't know. But then it's great that we've got sites like that that the girls created because if you don't want it, somebody like me will take it off your hands and I'm like more than willing to, to pay fair prices and get them shipped and I think if there was something that I really 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 hated I would send out as well um and, and probably try and sell it as a whole really or or swap um so yeah it's my first time buying off another person in the UK um so fingers crossed I'll get those boxes soon and I can unbox them for you and tell me tell you the opinions but you may have already seen the unboxing video of it as well anyway doesn't matter back on track so we now have the neogen miracle lightning eye lifter and this was a spoiler it's worth 30 dollars and it's basically a cooling roll-on miracle lightning eye lifter and it's a total eye care for mom phenomenon i can't pronounce that word phenomenon i can't get my yeah a miracle we'll say that addresses all your eye aging concerns in one go this is a massage roll-on applicator um, that you use along along the under eyes to gently distribute toxin buildup and underneath the eyes to revitalise, smooth, brighten, de-bloat and lift the eye area. It contains adenosine, which is like a vasoconstrictor. I work as a nurse and adenosine is like um, a really potent drug. Um, and basically... It's got a couple of other ingredients that are a similar compound to it that actually cause the blood vessels to constrict, which would get rid of your puffiness. So that would give you, that adds to the look of exhaustion really, so it's meant to make you look more awakening. It's also packed with a lot of anti-aging ingredients um, to recapture that um, lost volume and increase collagen production, um, which would help against fine lines. It's best recommended for dark under eye circles, under eye wrinkles and bloaty eyelids, crow's feet and sagging eyelids. I don't have any of that. I do have dark circles, but that's due to me being really pale and just the skin under my eyes is a slightly darker colour. Um, but apparently oh i've just noticed the company's philosophy is maximizing the benefits for skin through the latest biotechnology based upon fundamental knowledge of skin and neo nature i like that little one. so i like these type of these i was gonna say eyeliners i like these type of eye gels because i like to stick them in the fridge i have one in the fridge at the minute but it's an origins one and it's again a metal roller because it's really super duper cooling and that's what the ball looks like. So even when you put this on your skin, it feels cold, just the ball alone, because it's metal. And that's without any product on it at all yet. So, yeah, I like the look of that. Um, I haven't rolled it yet because I don't want to. But I will use this one when my um, Origin ones has run out. And I'll probably have this for the day. And then I've got a night cream that I haven't opened yet. I'll probably use that for the night. So that was that item. And then the next one, which I've tried, is the Miss Unseen Perfect Repair. Um, it's worth $16, and it says it's a highly concentrated perfect repair to be used before and or after blow drying to give your hair the silky, well-nourished finish. It's enriched with seven different natural oils, argan, camillion, olive, jababa, and coconut apricot. Uh, it's all like formula, quickly absorbs into your hair without making it sticky or greasy. Um... After towel drying, take a dime-sized amount of the serum onto your palm and massage it into throughout hair. So basically just massage it through your hair. And it can be used multiple times. So it's basically like a Moroccan hair oil. It's um looks like that. It has a nice like salon smell to it. It's a very thick oil. Um so it's not like watery. It did absorb into my hair quite fast. Um and it wasn't sticky. So, and my hair, I still have dry bits, but my hair feels super duper soft. But I think that's because I'm using, like, I use the shampoo out the um, sweet shop box, I think, the scent box. 
Then I also used this today and then I used the um, curling serum that I had out of, I think it was Mission Possible Long Lasting. Um, and yeah, my hair does feel soft. It's still dry because it needs cutting. Um, but yeah, I've noticed a difference in my hair. It does feel softer. So I liked that product as well and I'll use it all the time now. And then the other product we got was a Villa Blind Sunstick Protector um, in an SPF 50. It's worth $18 and it says it's a beauty essential nowadays with UVA and UVB rays being responsible for sagging skin, fine lines and wrinkles, dull complexion and even stimulate and damage your skin conditions. The Blind Stick Protector can be visibly... Oh, easily rolled on and leave the skin feeling super soft and matte. Thus, it can be applied under or over makeup as much as needed and as often as possible for 100% protection. So basically, just rub the stick all over your skin. Um, now, I put it on the back of my hand and felt it and it came out very clear. But I don't know how it would go over my makeup, you know. Um, shall I try? Shall I rub a bit on my nose? It comes out like that, which is like a clear gel. So if I just... I just don't want it to take my makeup off. Has that took my makeup off? If I just... No, it doesn't fit, seem to be. If you're really gentle. So maybe it is going to be okay. Maybe it is. But I suppose you could always put a bit of powder over the top. So... Yeah, I like that. That'll come more into play in the summer, though, I think. Um, but I do use an SPF 50 now. I've started wearing one. I didn't really before. I used, just used to pick makeup with an SPF 20 in. But that's probably not enough, really. Even on cloudy days, I'm meant to use one. So I am taking better care of my skin. So that's that. Although I don't think I look my age, though. Um, but I don't think I look 27. I think I look younger. But I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. I had somebody say I looked 30 the other day. I nearly killed him. Even though I'm not far off 30. I'm 28 in April. Anyways, the next item straight up my street. I was so excited when I opened this. And it's the Shara Shara Betox Toner. It's worth $19. And it says it's a moisture toner for acne prone skin. Or a mist toner. It's formulated with bee venom extracts. Um, tea tree oil has well acknowledged soothing treatments for relieving blemishes, controlling excess oil and sebum, and refreshing the skin for a cleaner, clearer complex complexion. Sorry, and then just spray the mist evenly over clean face and pat it in for absorbance. So now this is going to be right up my street again. This leaked a little bit. I don't know if you can see it there. Is that bit? This also leaked a smidge. Yeah, it's leaked again. This, yeah, this is going to have to stay sitting up. I mean, it's not leaked a lot. But if I opened it up, I noticed inside, can you see the water? It was leaking. And you can smell it. You can see it all around it. You just, you just see those water droplets there? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to store this standing up. But basically, this you just spray on. And you leave it. And... It smells quite fresh. You can smell a bit of tea tree in, so that's what that looks like. So I'm going to store this now standing up. I thought I screwed it really hard, but it must just be faulty and leaking. So that is a great one for me. And then the last item, which is my duplicate, um, which was in the Cutie Pie Mazur 2 box. And that is the Cheek Room Lip Balm in Cherry Clover. I think it was number two. I don't think it was number three. But anyway, it was in one of her boxes. And this is worth $12. Oh, the toner was worth $19 if I didn't mention that. And it's an adorable lip balm clover. It has multi-player for not only moisturising dry chap lips, but also plumping up and reviving the supplements of dulled out lips. It has olive oil, shea butter, gerbiba oil formula. Works to nourish and protect as well. And just apply to lips as often as needed. Now mine, I think they overfilled it because it's a bit sticky to get off. But that's what it looks like inside. So I could... Clove. It smells lovely and cherry like, and I have been using it. So I'm gonna keep this one in my bag to use because no matter what I do lately, I use lip scrub, lip masks. My skin, my skin is still dry as a bone on my lips. It is driving me up the wall, and I've been using one of the E 
oh gosh, one of the American lip balms that's in like the little round tub and it's got EOS on. Oh, is it Essence of Science or something it's called? And I've got a light one of those I bought from America. And it's just not doing anything. It's not moisturising enough. But that's what that looks like on. So it's quite moisturising, as you can see. So can you hear him shouting at me? Hurry up. He's driving me off the soul. I think it's because tea's ready. So I am going to sign off. Um, I am Kelly, that was my 911 box uh, with a tiny little mini um, review. This I like, I'm going to start using it. it. Smells lovely. And this I like, it does leave my hair super soft, although it just looks like rat's tails now because I've been out and it's blown everywhere. And this I also like. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, and I will see you soon because hopefully I will have a few more boxes to unbox. Um, so yeah, see you soon ladies and guys. Bye.